online fit friends and welcome back to Wow Body Now and to our 2020 Fit Through the Holidays Challenge. It's Friday, which means it's cardio, arms, and abs day. Let's get warmed up. Okay, everybody, let's take a sip of water. We're gonna we get warmed up. We're gonna start with torso twists. Get ready, get set. <laughs> Here we go. So just go ahead, take those elbows wide and twist. Nice. Oh, this feels good. We're just gonna get the body moving, start to get that blood pumping, warm up our muscles and joints, kind of wake up our brain and prepare our brain and our body for this workout. After this, we're gonna do some body weight windmills. Windmills are traditionally like a kettlebell exercise, right? Take your arm, slide it down. You're looking up at your fingers of that extended arm. The toes on the side that you're sliding down are turned out. The other set of toes are facing forward. It's a great inner thigh stretch as well as an oblique exercise. All right, same thing, other side, right into it. Oh, my hip just popped. I don't know if you could hear it, but it did and it felt good. So as you're doing this, I want you to practice your abs vacuums. Think, hug yourself from the inside out. Squeeze those abs, pull that belly button in and up. Nice, okay, so feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Reach for your toes, bring your arms up. Give me a little arch in your back, a little back bend. Reach for your toes, arch back. There you go, reach for your toes. Look up and arch your back. And again, we're still pulling that belly button in. Okay guys, oh. We're gonna do a little leg combo next. Get ready. All right, so hug one knee in, hug the other knee in, kick your heel back, kick your heel back. Hug, hug, nice. Heel back, heel back. Great, so from the very beginning, from warm up all the way to cool down, it's just gonna be about 30 minutes today. Our workouts this entire week have been averaging about 30 minutes, which is pretty good, right? You can get an excellent workout in 30 minutes, as we have proven. <laughs> All right, so jog in place with jack arms. There you go. Nice and easy, light on your feet. The arms are really big. They're opening up over top of your head and then coming back down. Take this time to check in with your posture. Have a nice long neck because your shoulders are relaxed down away from your ears. Again, pull that belly button in. Stand up nice and tall. So we're gonna do a hip circle march. Take and sweep that knee across your body and then you're really warming up your hips there. Nice. Do you already feel your abs engaged? Your abs are working and your obliques are working here as you sweep that leg across. Stand up tall, make that connection to them, think about it. Nice. Okay, hands behind your head and just give me side bends. Elbows nice and wide, chest is open, getting the obliques a little bit more warmed up here. It's like you're waving with your entire body, okay? There you go. Ooh. After this, we're gonna have 20 seconds to grab your jump rope, have your mat ready to go, have your slider ready to go. You know, yesterday we had so much fun with the jump rope. We're gonna pull it out again. This, all right, so adjust your rope to the length that you need it and we're gonna get ready to go. It's gonna be a full minute of this jump rope. And this first minute, this first time through, I'm just gonna do a normal bounce jump. There we go. You want your arms relaxed. They're not too, you know, far away from your body. 
and it's a slight movement of just your wrists turning that rope. If you don't have a jump rope, just pretend. You can even grab a soup can or some light dumbbells and hold them in your hand to make it feel a little bit more intense as you bounce jump. Ooh, focus Ev. I'm having issues right now. Here we go. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. Nice and light on your feet. Nice, okay. I'm gonna set this aside so it doesn't get all messed up. I'm gonna have my mat here. You're gonna get into the bear position, everyone. Bear position. Beginners, you can do traditional oil rig with one knee down, okay? Everybody else, get on one knee and hover that knee. Switch sides. That is challenging. I forgot how hard that is, guys. I really did. You feel in the quad of that knee that is hovering. Oh, oh arms and abs. Inchworm, push up, toe, touch, combo. So go to the end of your mat there. All right, we're gonna inchworm, push up, reach opposite hand to opposite foot. Are you ready? Get set. Here we go. Inchworm, push up, toe tuck, toe tap. Walk it back. Stand all the way up. Inchworm it out. Push up, tap the toe, tap the toe, walk it back. Hoo wee. Let's keep it going. We have a full minute to do this. Go to your knees for the push-up if you need to make it a little bit easier. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Inchworm it out. I feel my heart rate. How about you? Push-up. Push-up. Okay. This will be the last one. Push up. Walk it back. Walk it back out. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna do a slider plank saw. So this is the exercise you need. Your little slider or towel. Put both of your feet on it. Forearms down, palms up. We're gonna get our biceps. We have to squeeze our biceps to slide our body forward. So you're pushing through your elbows. Pull with the biceps, push back through the elbows. Plank saw here. Keep your abs in, chest up, please. Don't let your hips droop. Core is working like crazy. Biceps are working to pull. Okay, so what's next? Side plank hugger with the hip dip. All right. So get into your side plank. Beginners, you can have the bottom knee down. You're gonna hug, bring it up, hip dip. Hug, pick your hips up and rotate. Come back nice and straight, hip dip. Hug. Ah, hip dip. Ready? I'm just gonna turn over to the other side. You do the same. Get lined up. Rotate and hug. Extend up. Hip dip. Whew. Rotate and hug. Extend up. Hip dip. Keep it going, keep it going. Ooh. Nice work, everybody. Come on. Okay. So, we have a little break of all the planks, but you know, it's an arms and abs workout. <laughs> Lots of planks, 
you work both at the same time. So, alternating V-ups, one leg at a time. Okay, are you still pulling your belly button in the whole time? I hope so. After this, we get a full minute to rest. So, give me your all. 15 more seconds, come on. Exhale as you crunch up. So in this minute, you don't want to just lay down. Get up, walk around, prepare your space for the jump rope, right? So that you're all ready to go. Make sure you're gonna sip some water, all right? One round done, two more to go. All right, 30 more seconds. Control your breathing. Grab your rope. Make sure it's adjusted for your height. All right. You choose. You can do a regular bounce jump. I think I'm going to do some butt kick runs as I go. I'm going to start with the bounce jump. Make sure I got the rhythm here. And then I'm gonna jog and kick my heels back to my butt. That's what I'm gonna do this time. Whoopsie, it got caught, that's okay. Good job, everybody. You're doing great. If all else fails, just jog in place, that's okay. Stand up tall. I know, I'm feeling it too, but don't hunch over. Stand up tall. Four, three, two, one. Okay. I'm gonna lay that out so I don't get tangled. Beginners, you can have one knee down. You don't have to hover the knee. Oil riggers. Oh, my back leg was getting lazy. It was all bent and ugly, sorry. Let's fix that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Here's our inchworm combo. You're going to slide it down, walk it out. One push up, toe tap, toe tap. A full 60 minutes, 60 seconds. Let's go, not 60 minutes, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> oh, there we go. Pace yourself with this, okay? Challenge yourself, but pace yourself. Oh, I love this one. We're getting a hamstring stretch too. If you're anything like me, your hamstrings are a little bit tight right now. If not, no worries. <laughs> That's a good thing. If you have a hard time with flexibility, you can take your feet wider or you can bend your knees on the way up and back. or slider plank saw. 
Getting my feet on my towel. Forearms down, palms up. Squeeze your biceps and pull yourself forward. Push through your elbows back. It's not a huge movement. Really practice your abs vacuums here. Keep that belly button pulled up and in. Keep your body really strong and straight and erect. Squeeze those biceps as you pull yourself forward. Nice. All right, gonna get this out of the way. There's our side plank option. If you're more advanced, you can have your feet stacked, right? If you need less shoulders, you can go on your forearms. I'm gonna have my staggered feet there. Beginners, you can have the bottom knee down. I want you to rotate, crunch, pull your hips up as you rotate and hug yourself. Do you see how I'm hiking my hips up? Ooh, and crunch in there. Switch to the other side. Get lined up. Here we go. Woo. Hug. And hip dip. Hug. And hip dip. Hug. And hip dip. Good job, good job. Come on, guys. Hug. Hip dip. Nice. Okay. V ups, alternating legs. Make sure you're pressing your lower back into the mat the whole time. If you have a hard time keeping your back in the lower mat, your lower back in the mat, have your legs bent and you can look like that, right? Okay? And you can just crunch it up instead of doing this full sit up if you need to. Pull that belly button in, vacuum out those abdominal muscles, come on. Good job, everybody. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. <laughs> Here's our minute to rest and recover. I'm at 135 beats per minute. Not too shabby. Let's clear our spot. We are on to the last round of this. So we have one more round, then we're gonna do a 90 second challenge. Oh yeah. Sip your water. Grab your rope, adjust it to where you need it to be. Set your mind right, guys. All right. Just do it one exercise at a time, one rep at a time, and just keep going, okay? All right. We're gonna make it. We're gonna, we're gonna make it together. Get ready. Get set. Let's go. I'm gonna start to pick up my knees and jog like that as I go over my rope. As in, my chest is up, I'm standing up tall. I want you to do the same thing. Transition. Get ready for those oil breathers. Okay. Oh, 
switch sides. challenging right okay pace yourself with this we have a full minute of these inch worms into a push-up then a toe touch let's go slide down walk it out push up go to your knees if you need to Plugging away. You got this. Okay. Come on, almost there. Slider plank saw. Get your feet on the slider. Forearms down, palms up, you guys. Okay? Squeeze your biceps, pull yourself forward, push through your elbows back. Again, it's not a huge movement. The further back you go and extend back, the more you're gonna get your lats too. That's super challenging. You can go further back, go further back. Ooh, I'm not there yet. Oh, oh my gracious. Side plank exercise. I'm gonna start with my back to you so we can finish looking at each other. Get ready. Here we go. Hug, rotate through. Pick up those hips on that hug, hip dip. Hug, hip dip. Hug, hip dip. Switch sides. Well, hello there, beautiful. Let's do this. Oh, I started with the hip dip that time. Hug, hip dip. Hug. Oh, you got this. Hip dip. Hug. Come on, just 10 more seconds. Hip dip. Hug. Come on. Hip dip. Hug. Okay. So we are going to do the alternating V up. Then we're going to have a rest and get ready for our challenge. Okay. Extend your body long. Press your lower back into the mat. Vacuum out those belly buttons. <sighs> Exhale as you crunch up. Forty seconds to kind of rest and recover. Then we're going to do our ninety-second challenge. All right. So for our ninety-second challenge, we're going to do a hollow body or a banana. We're going to do a knee tuck. We're going to go back. We're going to roll over and do a Superman. Roll back. Hollow body. Knee tuck. Roll over Superman. It's gonna go in eight seconds. So, get ready. Here's your hollow body, hold, knee tuck crunch, 
extend, roll over, Superman. Roll over, knee tuck, roll over, Superman. Now, as I roll over, I'm kind of putting my arm down and helping me, especially because I don't want to hit my mic pack. If you can, keep your arms up the whole time. But if you need to help yourself to roll over, you can. Whoo! Keep going. We've been going for 30 seconds. Superman. I'm running into my wall there. I'm gonna scoot back some. <laughs> roll over. Knee tuck. Keep it up, keep it up. Roll over. Superman. Roll over. Hug the knees in. Whoo! You got this. Superman. Roll over. Oh, it's getting challenging, but we're up for it, right? Hang in there. Oh, come on, come on. Almost there, it's about to ding. Just a couple more seconds. Nice. Okay, lay down on your belly. Not on your belly, on your back. Just give me a nice log stretch. Oh, arms going one direction. Feet stretching the other direction. Make yourself long, long, long. Go ahead and roll over onto your belly. I'm gonna face this way so I can keep an eye on my timer. Okay, you're not... All right, go ahead, take one leg, keep it long, the other leg is bent. Arms go out, rotate that leg over. You can take this arm and press it over. So get a nice spine twist, stretching the hips and the glutes on this side, the obliques. Um, look over the opposite direction. That's nice. Good work, good work. Same thing, other way. Take it over. Oh. Try to keep your shoulders in contact with the mat there, okay? I do believe we are getting onto all fours next. Yeah, we're just gonna do cat and cow. So, go at your own pace. Kinda whatever feels good for you, just alternating between cat and cow. As you go into the cat. Go ahead and sit back in your child's pose. Take one arm under. Oh, a little twisting child's pose. Extend this top arm long, long, long. Really try to twist and look through there. Oh, that feels so nice just to lay here and stretch. Elongating through the spine here. Same thing, other side. Nice, just breathe. You've earned a great pull down and stretch. So we're gonna go to an up dog. Start on your belly, feet hip width apart, arms right next to your armpits. Push yourself up, right? You can just do the cobra. If you want, you can activate your toes and even pick up your legs off the mat. Arch your back, look up. Almost there. Go ahead and lay down again. We're just gonna end in a nice comfy position. Lay down on your back. 
butterfly your legs. So soles of your feet together. Just let gravity pull on your knees. And you feel a nice little stretch in your groin and your inner thighs. I just want you to lay here. Close your eyes and breathe. Bring your knees together, roll yourself up, and I want you to give me those virtual high fives, everybody. We made it through another week of workouts. We still have today and tomorrow where you're really focusing on making sure you get your two veggies and two fruits, make sure you're marking it off on the calendar. And yeah, starting starting Sunday, we will be adding on a new habit. So we're still doing the two fruits and two veggies every day, but we're gonna be adding on the new habit that we're focusing on for the next two weeks. So be ready for that. And until we meet again, I want you to always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Bye everyone.